I uh, just want to make a quick video and uh, tell you guys, well, this one, this camera's dirty as hell. Anyway, uh, make a quick video about the Accord. I got a funny story. Um, of course, when I bought this car, um, it cranked up, it ran. Dude had the turbo kit off of it because the, uh, the bearings in the kit was blowed. He also told me, he said, uh, dude, uh, sometimes it messes up. It doesn't want to go in third gear. So I never really thought about it. You know, cranking it up, idling it, um, take a foot off the clutch. Sometimes you hear a little bit of noise, but I was like, eh, it's maybe the, the throw up bearing. So <laughs> I'm like, you know what? A car's running good. I'm going to take it up and do the admissions on it. And of course, it's a 95. So to do the admissions on this, you have to get it on the dyno. Um, <laughs> So I take it up there, a little young dude's doing the test, he gets in it, we put it on a Dono. He was like, man, this thing has some pull. And I was like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so he pops it in first, pops it down in second to get it to 25 miles an hour. And the computer is saying, hold it 25 miles an hour for, I think it was 60 seconds. So 30 seconds down the road, all you hear is boom. And like the, the transmission just locked up, completely locked up. The tires just locked, and the Dono kept spinning because it was going so fast. It was eating into the tire. I was like, oh, my God, you done fucked up my car. So we had to, you know, push it out. Uh, I tried to start, and it's the weird thing because the transmission locked up, and then I couldn't get the damn thing running again. So um, we pushed it out, and um, I started messing around with it, and transmission is just completely fucking fraud. But the good thing is... Uh, the good thing is I found a transmission for about uh, 200 bucks, and you know this one's. I got my impact wrench, so getting the uh, CV uh, joints out of there is not like a big deal or anything. But uh, it was funny because the dude almost shit himself. Anyway, the damn thing wouldn't run, and this is a really weird thing. And I guess because I don't really mess with Hondas too much, I really didn't figure out what was going on until I got the car back home. But. Um, you would, I would turn it over, it would start up. If you floor it, it'd start up, and then it shut right back down. And I was like, what the fuck? Seems like it's not getting fuel. So I straight rolled the fuel pump while I was, you know, still up there at the emissions place to a switch. And I hit the switch, I'd hear the fuel pump running, still cut up, uh, cut on, then shut back down. I was like, what the fuck? So I ac accidentally one time cut it on while the fuel pump was off, and the damn thing started up. It idled like shit, but still started up and revved for about 20 30 seconds and shut back down so after i got it back home if you can see here there's the uh the honda data map sensor and this is the whole thing if you watch my other video about the wiring in this car the uh the wire one of the wires from the map sensor came off and it wasn't registering right so it wouldn't let it run so that's like the biggest thing about this car um, of course, me having to do the transmission, and most of the wiring is on the transmission side. I'm just going to go through it and, you know, solder all the wires, um, shrink wrap everything, make it look nice. <clears throat> and the other thing is I got my turbo rebuild kit in. And you see, I basically have the turbo on there. The only thing I'm missing right now is the downpipe, and I've got it over there on the floor. But uh, it didn't come with the, uh, the gasket. Um, I never really knew how easy it was to rebuild a turbo, but literally this thing took me probably, I don't know, probably about 20 minutes to rebuild the thing. So uh, it was really simple. It cost me about 35 bucks. Let me show you guys the Baron that was in here. I'm not sure if you can even see that, but this thing is uh, demolished. Let me see if I can... Yeah, it's it's cracked all the way through. It's like completely just demolished. I don't know if it was from uh, oil starvation or what it was from, but um, saved me from having to buy a uh, you know six hundred dollar turbo. So uh, there's no shaft lay in it now. Um, that's about it. I mean, uh, I'm gonna get the downpipe on there. Uh, I'm gonna fabricate a little fucking. Uh, what do you call it gasket to put on there tie everything in get everything going uh change the uh tom and belt and do the transmission so i still have a lot of work to do on this car well it's not a whole lot of work but considering i only paid you know like 600 bucks for the car um 
you know, it, it, it's definitely worth putting a little bit of money into. And another thing is, uh, you know, literally took me about an hour to put this kit on here. And uh, now I can see why people buy the uh, the bolt-on kits instead of piecing, you know, kits together. Because it's so much e easier. Everything fits perfect. I mean, even your transmission mount there, you see your turbo fits right in the transmission mount. Trying to fabricate something up is just a pain in the ass. It is a lot cheaper considering this kit right here is about uh, $2,800 complete. Um, and that's not counting like, you know, the, the injectors, the fuel pressure regulator, the, uh, uh, the blow off valve, the, uh, the fuel pump and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a lot easier, but it is a lot more money. But, um, I can say, you know, no matter what, even if transmission is bad, you know, change it out 200 bucks, not a big deal. But I still think that 600 bucks for this car is a hell of a fucking deal. I mean, that's half of what the turbo kit costs. So, really can't complain um that's about it uh, i'm actually contemplating painting the whole car because you can see the front fenders are, are like white every time i look at the front fender i think of the type r integras like the straight white ones that's the exact same color and then back here it's kind of more like bland so i might do that don't want to put a whole lot of time into it but because it runs so nice and you know it's got so much work into the motor being built turbo kit all that stuff um, I do want it right. I don't want to sell it and say, yeah, it runs good, it shifts good, but this is messed up or it looks like crap because, you know, that's how people lowball you. I'd rather have it right and say, nice car, good paint, runs good, interior is good, everything's good. So, um, I don't know. That's about it for right now. Uh, I'm going to work on a little bit more tonight and, uh, see if I can't finish it up. Anyway, that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later.